whispered it softly and dragged her to hell. So the purpose of our photo shoot today is to take each actress to the site where their character was killed. We want it to be very real for them and we want them to have a real connection to that. So we're going to take each girl to her death site and get her in costume, hair and makeup and then show her where her character was killed and hopefully film their reactions to it, which should be quite interesting. Well, I think we are fascinated because of um, the, the mystery, the eternal mystery of it, that we don't know who he was. Um, but we are also very interested in the death of women. It's a very, very common theme. My character's name is Annie Chapman. Annie Chapman died here in Hanbury Street, which is now the site of a, like a market, so it's completely covered over. Um, nothing really here to, to say that it happened, which is really sad. I think it's easy to read all these stories and actually just think they are just stories, but actually they are real things that actually happened. And as kind of cheesy as that sounds, that kind of hits home, I think. You know, they're real women that were brutally, brutally murdered. And it's, when you think, Maybe these are the people that we know about is the thing that hits me. It's like, what else happened here that we don't know about? Good things and bad things, you know, so yeah. So this is the spot where Annie Chapman died. Um, it's the pillar with the orange, green and yellow square. So how does that make you feel? I don't know, it's so creepy, isn't it? Yeah. I think the aim of the project is to fundamentally tell the women's stories. We all know so much about Jack the Ripper, but we know nothing about them. And as we've had in this interview a couple of times, we've had about six Jack the Ripper tours go past. Um, I'm pretty sure that half of them don't know the women's names, um, despite being so interested in the topic and paying for the tour. Um, right, so Mary Jane Kelly, she died just where that arch is there. My character's name is Mary Jane Kelly. Uh, she died in her own bed, right behind me. Weird. <laughs> Very weird. I think with Mary, what's, what's different is that she was killed in her own bed, um, whereas the other girls were all killed on the street. So I just wonder at what point in that encounter did she realise that he's not um, your average um, client and that he's actually Jack the Ripper? I can't imagine how that must have felt. So no, every day. Yeah. And no, it, it makes her feel like a real person. Cool. <laughs> My character's name is Catherine Eddowes. She was found right here, where we are sitting now. Does that feel weird? Really weird. I've learned that she was full of life and full of determination. Whatever she was doing, I think, at the time, she was determined to see it through. Um, okay, so this is the exact spot where your character, Catherine Eddowes, was found. <laughs> Um, 125 years ago. Why don't you like have a seat? <clears throat> so to kind of make it feel quite real. Yeah, it's cold. <laughs> playing Jack in this Ripper story is that it's not about him, it's about the women. And I've always championed from this, this project's conception these women's stories. We forget, we, we, we remember Jack, we remember everything else, but we always forget, like, we always forget the names of these women. And they were real people and they had stories. And this is what Rip does. It gets behind the women and it makes you remember them and it honours their memory. So. Who will remember her name as she fell? He whispered it softly and dragged her to hell. To hell, 
to how she ne'er did belong. From hell, from hell, she'll sing out her song.